Hello, this is Creo with a Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm going to be helping you create alt accounts so that you can get some rewards through the referral program. In order to do this, you're going to require the program BlueStacks and a new email account that you created with Raid ever before per alt account you wish to create. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here once you have both of those installed and, re and continue this video. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you have everything installed and those email accounts set up. Now let us continue. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to have to do is open up your main account and you're gonna go over to this referral account button. As you can see here in my previous two alt accounts, you're gonna click this get referral link and it's gonna copy your referral. You're going to go over to your main email account you're going to create an email and send it to your alt account with that link that has been copied. It should look something like this. It should just say your install link. All right. Now that you've got that install link sent to your alt email, you're going to come over to BlueStacks. You can open up BlueStacks multi installer, and you will see you have different you'll have only the one blue stacks here probably if you haven't used blue stacks before you'll just go ahead and start that initial blue stacks that should already be set up for you if not you'll just go ahead and click on this new instance button when you click on new instance it's going to ask if you want a fresh instance or a clone instance always use a fresh instance because you need to make sure that raid has never been installed on the instance it will not work so you must go to a new instance Right. I've already done that and gone ahead and started it up so we didn't have to wait for the 40 seconds of loading. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my blue stacks. It will launch you directly to the Play Store and require you to log in. So I have done that as well. At that point, you should be at the same screen here as I am. And then you can continue with this video. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is not install Raid Shadow Legends. I repeat, you will not be installing Raid Shadow Legends at this first step. The first thing you're going to do is instead install Gmail. I have not installed the apps yet, just so you can truly see that this is the app that's going to be used. Uh, it will also pop up this account setup. You do not need to attach any credit cards or anything to Blue Stacks in order for this to work. So go ahead and skip that. And you can continue on to your Gmail. So just take a split second here for Gmail to install, and then you can open it up. It'll let you log in, take you to Gmail you should see your Raid Shadow Legends email link here. Once you have this, all you simply need to do is click on the link inside that email. It will launch a browser first and then bring you back to the Google Play Store. Go ahead and install this. This one will take a split second. All right, go ahead and show the step. It is very important that you did that through the email. Once you open this up, you're going to go ahead and launch your player email. You do not need to log in. You do not have to have an email associated with a player ID. All you need to have done is this. Now, you will want to make a player ID once you've seen your account has been linked. But before that, you can keep testing it to make sure that you can log in here. Or you can log in. Accept the continuation, and then you can play through the tutorial. So we're going to play through that tutorial right now. You can skip ahead a little video a little bit if you'd like, um, but I have to walk through the tutorial to show you the link actually works. So stick around and we will have some fun with the tutorial. All right, we get our nice spooky dragon corridor where we get to see the rare champions being far cooler than they should actually be as they kill commons. Oh, look at those poor little comments. What did they ever do to you? Oh, look, it's a Skull Crusher. Everybody wants one of those. Don't know why he's coming by himself. Counterattack isn't that useful if you don't have any allies to counterattack with. All right, well, oh, look at that. Elhaim being super useful. Ah, uh, yes, the 1x speed, the dreaded speed that I don't know why they decided to make their cinematic. Uh, intro video at 1x speed on. That's just horrible. All right, woo boy. You killed those level 20 commons. All right, let's see what the big scary boss is. 
Oh, look, it's the dragon. Oh boy, look how scary he is. This dragon. The level 1 dragon that 460s should, in theory, be able to beat without any issues. Oh, wait, what? You just got eaten? I wish the dragon actually killed people that way in the actual game, because that would be so much more exciting. You should probably equip gear before going to the dungeon, should be what the motto at the end of this says, instead of actually being like, I wish we had better champions, and then they give you the exact same champions. Ah, yes, the pick, where you have the choice of picking Kale or a bunch of people that aren't nearly as good. All right, we're into Raid Shadow Legends now, but we still need to go through these tutorial steps, unfortunately, because you don't get to the window. All right, get the sniper. Go through this little tutorial. All right, yes, yes, yes. Go here. Yes. Watch the cool little cinematic that kind of just ends with a, everybody dies, and that's it. Like, I don't quite get the ending of this little campaign story. It's this is the most ogling story ever. It was kind of fun when you were watching it that first time and you've never played the game before, and you get to the end and you're like, well, we restored peace for a, a time by killing ourselves. I'm like, but my champions are still all here, and that, that, that was that. It was like, okay, I, I feel like there's like another half of the story that they never got around to giving us. Anyway, we did this, went to the go to Bastion, go here, equip Kale with a weapon that basically means you have to spend money in order to get this unequipped afterwards because nobody would leave Kale equipped with a one star life sword. Good old Plarium showing you their sneakiness right from the get go. Watching that sniper do damage. Yeah, go sniper. Good old level two. Only 48 more levels to go. Go on the bastion. You still have to go here. You still have to keep following the tutorial. Equip the silly life hat because it's dumb. Flip it on, then level it up to level four. Here we go. Two, three, four. Upgrading this one star because the player even thinks that people would actually want to do that. All right. At this point, you'll get to this new player rewards here. You're good to go there. Click, you can click on that to get it out of your way. And you can click on this referral program button. Now, I have had this sometimes pop up immediately with my, this is your character. Um, and you can see that it's linked. Sometimes though it does not. If it does not, you can go ahead and close your Raid Shadow Legends. Just exit the app. So as you can see there, I went closed back down. It's no longer in the top of my blue stacks. And then I open it back up again. And we'll see if it actually shows up properly like it's supposed to. I had waited a few minutes before closing it the first time I did this, um, just because I was kind of dinking around a little bit to try and figure out why it wasn't showing up properly. And then when I closed and reopened it, it worked. So we're going to just see if it doesn't require it to like wait a few seconds first. OK, and there we go. You should now see this referral reward that you will have seen this Creo here. And you should claim these rewards. Now you are linked to your main account. Once you have seen that your main account has gotten that link, you want to come over here to your thing and link to your Polarium ID. You can just create the new Polarium ID right here and there. Just click on Polarium ID and create ID. You can do it all from this right here. And this account will now be permanent and you can log into it from any app on any of your phones or devices without worrying about uh, messing up that link. And so you never have to use the blue stack ever again. I hope you found this video information to, uh, useful. If you have any questions or anything, you can find me. Uh, send me some messages. Thanks. Have a good day.